good morning om shanti today is 12th november 2024 baba sakar versions it is morning murli essence of today's murli baba says sweet children the father has come to decorate you with the best decoration of all which is purity the purity is the base of everything question from today's morally what are the main signs of those who take the full 84 births answer as as well as remembering the father they also remember the teacher and the satguru they remember all three it's not that uh, they remember the father and forget the teacher only when they remember all three can they go to the land of krishna that is play their parts from the beginning second point they are never defeated by storms of maya two points meaning om shanti <clears throat> the father first of all asks you children you don't forget that you are sitting in front of the father the teacher and the satguru do you baba thinks that not all of you sitting here have this awareness however it is still the father's duty to explain to you this is what it means to remember him with understanding our baba is the unlimited father and teacher and he is definitely the satguru the one who will take us children back with him the father has come here to decorate you children he continues to decorate you with purity and also gives you limitless wealth he gives you wealth for the new world where you have to go you children must remember this some children become careless and forget so the full happiness that they should have is reduced you would never find such a father anywhere else you know that you are definitely baba's children and that he is teaching you this is how he is also the teacher your study is for the new world for the land of immortality you are now sitting at the confluence age you children must definitely remember this you must remember this firmly you also understand that you are in a devilish world the land of kans at this time even if some do have a vision it isn't that they will be able to go to the land of krishna or into his dynasty through that it is when they continue to remember the father the teacher and the satguru all three that they will be able to go there <clears throat> and all three relations connected uh, with each other baba tells this to you souls you souls reply yes baba baba you are telling us the truth you are the father and also the teacher who teaches us the supreme soul is teaching you a worldly study is also taught by a soul through a body however both that soul and this body are impure people of the world do not know that they are resident of hell you understand that you are now to go back to your home this is not your home this is the foreign home of ravan in your land there is an abundance of happiness the people here do not understand that they are in a foreign land previously you were in the kingdom of the muslims and then in that of christians you know that you are now going to your own kingdom previously you used to consider ravan's kingdom to be your kingdom you forgot that you were in ram's means god's kingdom in the beginning then while going around the cycle of 84 births 
you entered Ravan's kingdom of sorrow. <clears throat> there is only sorrow when you are in foreign kingdom. All of this knowledge should emerge inside you. You do remember the father, but you must definitely remember all three. Only human beings can take this knowledge. Animals would not study. You children also understand that there are no studies to become a barrister, etc. in the golden age. The father is filling you with all of these treasures here. But not all of you will become kings. Although there is a business there too, you have plenty of wealth. It isn't, that, uh, it isn't the rule to experience any loss there. There is no looting or beating, etc. The very name is heaven. You children now remember that you used to be in heaven and that you came down whilst taking rebirth. The father tells the story to you children. Maya defeats the souls who haven't taken a tick for bus. The father explains that there are huge storms of Maya. Maya tries to defeat many. As you go further, you will see and hear a lot about this. If the father had photographs of everyone, he would show you the wonder of those who came for so many days of how they belong to the father and how Maya then ate them. That is Yagya history. They died and went to Maya's side. Here, when someone dies physically, he will take another birth in this world. When you leave your bodies, you will go and live with Baba in the unlimited womb. There, there is Baba, Mama and children in the new world. This is what a family consists of. Uh, Baba says, in the supreme region, there is just the father and brothers. There is no other relationship. Here, there are the fathers, brothers and sisters. Afterwards, as growth continues and relationship increase, there are parental uncles, maternal uncles, etc. Yeah, initially, one child, one girl. Then Baba says it gradually increase. At this confluence age, you belong to Prajapita Brahma and so you are brothers and sisters. When you remember Siv Baba, you are brothers. You have to remember all of these things very well. Many of you children forget the things that the father continues to explain to you. The father's duty is to put his children on his head and is to make his children even higher than himself. This is why he continues to say Namaste to you. He also explains the meaning. Sages and holy men etc. of the path of devotion can't show you the way to liberation in life. They continue to endeavor to attain liberation. They belong to the path of isolation. How could they teach Raj Yoga? Because Raj Yoga is for the household path. In devotion, Prajapita Brahma is portrayed as having four arms. That too indicates that this path is household path. The father has adopted this one. Therefore, the names Brahma and Saraswati have been given. Just look at what is fixed in the drama. You reach their age of uh, retirement at, sorry, people reach their age of retirement at 60 and adopt gurus. The father entered this one when he was 60 and became the father, the teacher and guru. Nowadays, the customs have become worse. Even small children are made to adopt a guru. That is the incorporeal one who becomes the father, the teacher and satguru of you souls. The incorporeal world is also called the world of souls. You wouldn't say that that world doesn't exist. It is also called the abode of peace where souls reside. 
if they say the Supreme Soul doesn't have a name, form or time period, where do his children come from? You children now understand how the history and geography of the world repeats. History is of those who lived and, and geography is of non-living things. You souls know for how long you ruled your kingdom. History, which is known as a story, is remembered. So many secrets Baba is telling today. Geography is normally of a country. It is living being who rule a kingdom. Anything that is non-living cannot rule. So history is about how long someone's kingdom existed and from when to when Bharat was ruled by the Christians. No one knows the history and geography of this world. They say that the golden age existed hundreds of thousands of years ago, but none of them knows who used to rule then or for how long they ruled. That is called history. Souls are living and bodies are non-living. The whole play is about the living and the non-living. This drama is between man, matter and God. A human birth is considered to be the most elevated. There is a census of human beings. No one could uh, possibly count how many animals there are. The whole play is about you. You are the ones who listen to this history and geography. The father enters this one and explains everything to you. This is called unlimited history and geography. It was because you didn't have this knowledge that you became so senseless. If human beings do not know the history and geography of the world, of what use are such human beings? You are now listening to the father telling you to the history and geography of the world. This study is very good. Who is teaching this? The father. It is the father who enables you to claim the highest status. The highest status is that of Lakshmi and Narayana and those who live with them in heaven. There are no barristers, etc. there. People there only study the arts. If they didn't learn various skills, how would they build buildings, etc.? They teach skills to one another. Otherwise, who would build so many buildings, etc. They would not be built automatically. All of these secrets remain in the intellects of you children, number-wise, according to the efforts you make. You understand that this cycle continues to turn. You, ru you ruled for that length of time and you then entered Ravan's kingdom. No one else in the world knows that they are in Ravan's kingdom. They say, Baba, liberate us from Ravan's kingdom. The people of Bharat liberated themselves from the rule of the Christians. Now they say, God, the Father, liberates us. Do you remember all of this? No one knows why they say this. You now understand that Ravan's kingdom is over the whole world. Everyone says that they want the kingdom of Ram. But who will liberate them? They think that God the Father will liberate from, become their guide and take them back with him. The people of Bharat do not have much sense. They are completely Tamopradhan. Those people means Christians neither receive as much sorrow nor as much happiness as the people of Bharat do. The people of Bharat become the happiest and then they also become the unhappiest. There is this account. There is now so much sorrow. Those who are religious minded remember God and say, O oh God, the Father, Liberator, your heart also say, Baba, come and remove our sorrow and take us to the land of happiness. They say, take us to the land of peace. They say, take us to the land of peace and the land of happiness.
happy sorry you say take us to the land of peace and the land of happiness so now that the father has come you should be very happy there is so much sweetness for the years on the path of devotion there is no real things in it there is a pinch of salt in a sack full of flour they have a mela for goddess chandika that is cremator goddess now why is there a mela for cremators who is called a cremator baba has said that it is those here who take birth as cremators here there they live here they eat and drink here they give something and then they say give us back everything that we have given so they will, they will take it back we don't believe this and have doubles what would such souls become if they have doubts there is a mela for such a chandika at least they go to the golden age if they even become helpers for some time they can go to heaven those devotees do not know anything of this none of them has this knowledge people earn so much money from a uh, from a gita that has pictures eh? pictures of the kurukshetra war nowadays everyone loves pictures they consider that to be art how could human beings know what the pictures of the deities should be like you were originally first class what did you then become no one is uh, disabled there deities have natural beauty there is natural beauty there the father explains everything and still says children remember the father the father is the father the teacher and the satguru so remember him in all three forms and you will receive all three inheritance those who come at the end will not be able to remember him in all three forms they will then go into liberation baba has said that the subtle region is just for vision one by one secrets baba is opening today whereas the whole of history and geography is of here no one knows how long it lasts the father has now told you children and so you can tell uh, anyone else first of all you have to give the father's introduction he is the unlimited father the supreme a worldly father is never called the supreme father or the supreme soul only one is the supreme and he is called god he is knowledgeful and so he teaches you this knowledge this godly knowledge is your source of income knowledge too is of an elevated level a middle level or a low level the father is the highest on high and so the study is also the highest on high the status is also high you quickly come to know all about the history and geography but you have to battle on the pilgrimage of remembrance if you are defeated in this you are also defeated in this knowledge if you are defeated and run away from here you also run away from this knowledge in that case you don't just become as you were but you become even worse than that your body your body consciousness is very soon visible to the father through your behavior so there is also the rosary of brahmins but many do not know how they could sit here number wise there have body consciousness those with full uh, with faith will definitely experience a lot of happiness who has the faith that when you leave your body you will become a prince so baba asked this question all raised their hands your children have so much happiness since all of you have this faith you should also 
all have divine virtues. For your intellect to have faith means to be threaded in the rosary of victory and that also means to become princess. The day will come when many foreigners will come to Mount Abu and will stop going to all other pilgrimage places. They want to study the Raj Yoga of Bharat. Who created that paradise? Effort is made and if it happened in the previous cycle, the museum will definitely be created. You have to explain that you want to put on a permanent exhibition like that. So ask whether you can take a lease for four or five years on the beginning. When Brahma Baba was there, it was initiated for museum. And finally, before he leave the body, it was decided. So you are serving Bharat to make it into a land of happiness. Many will benefit through this. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bap Dada. The spiritual father says namaste to you, spiritual children. And we spiritual children with love say namaste to our spiritual father. Mithe mithe sikilade bachcho prati maat pita baap dada ka yaad pyaar aur good morning. Ruhani baap ki ruhani bachcho ko namaste. Ham ruhani bachcho ki ruhani maat pita baap dada ko yaad pyaar good morning aur namaste. Sukriya baba. So, essence for dharna from today's Murli, point number one, in order to stay in limitless happiness, constantly maintain the consciousness that the father himself is decorating you, that he is giving you limitless wealth. You are studying for the new world, the land of immortality. Second point, in order to be threaded in the rosary of victory, keep your intellects faithful and imbibe divine virtues. Never think about taking back. What you have given, never let your intellects, uh, Baba says, have doubt and thereby lose your status. You will be uh, called a cremator otherwise. Now blessing for today. May you donate virtues with the cool water of mercy to souls who have anger in them and thereby become a blessed soul. So such a nice blessing today. So uh, how to fulfill this blessing? The uh, procedure means also Baba is explaining. Baba says when someone who is burning with anger comes in front of you, to insult and defame you. Then with your good wishes and pure feelings, with your attitude and stage, bless that soul with the virtue and power of tolerance. So what virtue we have to immerse our intellects, what power we have to immerse our intellects and do mansa seva of that soul, Baba is explaining. Baba says, angry souls are under an external influence and so with the cool water of mercy, you know, mercy is a virtue, make such soul peaceful. This is the duty of you blessed souls because all his powers Baba has given as a blessing to we Brahmins that we have to use. Baba says, it is because you are filled with such sanskars in the living form that your devotees receive such blessings from your non-living images. Because we are making that sanskars of that virtues and powers and with this spiritual study with the power of purity. That is the decoration by Baba in the conferences. So Baba says that, that your images also that sanskar will do the services. So that practically we have to use that powers and virtues now. Slogan for today, those who experience the treasures of all powers by having remembrance become filled with all.
powers. So we have to emerge and use that powers. Yeah, Baba has blessed all powers and made us master powerful. So today's Murli such a nice Murli. So many secrets Baba has opened. Baba says purity is the main base for all achievements. But if our father has come in this corporeal body, he established new heaven for us. For that, he is giving very good teachings to go there in that uh, world and to become deities. And he is also Sataguru because we have to go home. Then only we can go to our uh, heaven. So for that, we have forgotten our home. So Baba makes us liberated from all the sins of all births. And he takes us with him. And no other uh, preceptors or guru can take uh, us with them at home. So this is the essence and so many secrets we have heard in this Murli. So we we'll thanks Baba for that and finish Murli.